Welcome to Beacon Woods Golf Club in Bayonet Point, Florida. All right, so far um, the front nine looked beautiful. I mean, the course is in pretty darn good shape, I must tell you. The greens were all true, and they're probably about a nine. Uh, some greens are a little bit faster, maybe nine and a half on the stiff meter. All right, hole number 10 is a par four playing 381 from the tips. It's a lazy dog leg right. Here we go. It's just on the fairway on the left side. I have 150 to the flag. The wind really kicked up here in the last three or four holes. I'm gonna hit a nine iron. Here we go. Oh yeah. Hang on there, buddy, hang on. All right, it appears I'm off the green on the left side. Let's check it out. Uh, just as I hit my second shot, a gust of wind came up. I don't know if you heard it on the microphone, but it pushed me back and it pushed me to the uh, uh, to the left. So I have 19 yards here. I'm gonna use a sandwich to chip up. Here we go. All right, I got about a five footer for par. Let's check it out. All right, I have a five footer, almost six foot for par. I think it's gonna to break to the right a little bit. Let's check it out. Oh. All right, that is a bogey five on number 10. That's my first bogey of the day. On to number 11. All right, the 11th hole is a par four, dog leg left, plays 354 from the tips. Uh, it's quite a walk from the tips to where the cart is. I had to walk all the way down there, so it's quite a walk, in case you're wondering where the tips are on the 11th hole. Here we go. Oh yeah, straight away. Nice shot. Oh yeah. Good position. Let's go down there and check it out. All right, I have 135 to the pin. I'm hitting a full pitching wedge. The ball's above my feet, about three inches. Here we go. Kick left. Come on in, baby. All right, it appears that I'm pinned high on the uh, green. Probably about 12, 14 feet away. I don't know. Let's check it out. All right, I'm exactly pinned high over here on that shot. I have uh, 12 feet. It's going to break to the left severely. And it is downhill. Let's check it out. Alright, that is a par 4 on number 11. These greens are really nice. In some spots they're a little spotty, but most greens in Florida are spotty, even in October. Had a lot of rain. You know, we had a lot of rain this season. Anyway, on to number 12. Alright, the 12th hole is a par 3. The card states 148 from the tips. I shot it with the laser at 143. That includes the slope. It's playing 5 yards longer with the slope. Straight away is 138, 143 with the slope. Here we go. It's all uphill. No, no. Oh yeah, be there, be there. Oh yeah, I'm up on that green somewhere. Let's check it out. All right, I actually did not make the green. I'm on the, on the left side over here, almost pin high. I have a 20 footer, it's downhill. This is a birdie. All right, this is the par, here we go. That is a par three on number 12, on to 13. All right, 13 tall is a par four, dog leg left, playing 366 from the tips. Here we go, sorry for the wind noise. Oh yeah, come on around baby. Oh, nice draw, nice high draw. Oh yeah, nice high draw. Right side of the fairway, let's check it out. All right, I have 125 over here. I have a gap wedge, the, the bunker on the right side doesn't really come into play, let's check it out. Oh yeah, that's right on the pin. That's right on the pin. Oh yeah, looks like it's pin high. Let's check it out. Actually, I'm not pin high, I'm well short. The wind must have kicked up. It's very windy today. 
I have a 22 footer. It's uphill. I believe it's going to break to the left, if any. Let's check it out. Break. Oh. Alright, that is the Paul 4 and number 13 on to number 14. Alright, the 14th hole is a Paul 5 straight away playing 540 from the tips. Um, that bunker you see on the right side of the frame will come into play. I have a little bit of a helping wind on an angle from the left side to the right side. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. All right. Probably on the left center of the fairway. All right, so I'm over here in the fairway. The fairway kind of off the tee bears to the right a little bit, straight and right a little bit. Then your second shot, it's like a dog leg left. That bunker straight away is the far right side of the fairway and it kicks almost 90 degrees left to the green. So here we go. I'm going to use a six side for placement. Here we go. All right, sit down. All right, that's not going to hurt me. It's on, the right, it's on the right side of the fairway. Let's check it out. All right, I'm 132 to the pin. Uh, I have a severe lie here. It's in the fairway, but the ball's above my feet about six inches and I have a very strong wind behind me. So I'm going to play a gap wedge. We'll see what happens. Oh, I hit that good. Be there. Be there. Oh yeah, I'm on the green. Let's check it out. All right, I actually saw it bounce when it flew in on in the fairway on my third shot, but I didn't really know how close it was because of the glare. I have a six footer for birdie here, and where it landed is that ball mark I have to fix. Uh, it's uphill a little bit. It's going to break to the left, if any. Let's check it out. That is a par. It was an easy birdie putt. I needed that birdie to get back to uh, negative numbers. I'm even par right now through 14. On to 15. All right, the 15th hole is a par four, dog leg right, I believe, because the guys in front of me were shooting to the um, to the right side. So I'm assuming it's a dog leg right. 351 yards from the tips. You do have to hit over water here. Here we go. Oh boy, did I get away with that one. I hit it off the bottom of the club thing. All right, I'm glad it's a short par four, 351. Um, I hit the bank and the, the upslope of the embankment on the far side of the water. It did knock the steam out of it, but it still went about, I mean, it went past the ladies' tees on this side and it went past about 80, 90 yards. So I have like 150, so it's like a 200 yard drive for a lousy drive. I have 150 to the, uh, to the pin. I'm, the ball's sitting down in a rough here. I'm gonna hit a uh, nine iron, here we go. Oh yeah, stay there. Ah, uh, the wind caught it, it's on the right side off the green. Let's check it out. All right, the ball's over here on the right side. Flew over this tree, and the wind caught it and dragged it right about 10 yards. And we have 11 yards to the uh, pin. It's uphill, about three feet. I have no green to work with. Sandwich. Sit down. All right, not so bad. I have about a five foot of a par. All right, about a six foot of a par. It ran out past the hole. It's uphill, gonna break to the right a little bit. Let's check it out. This is for par. Yes. Whew, I needed that save. On to number 16. All right, the 16th hole is a par three. Card states 199 from the tips. I shot it with the laser at 197. Playing a five iron, 
I have a headwind. I'm going to flight it down a little bit. Good. I hit that so good. Come on in, baby. Come on in. Oh, yeah. It's up there on the left side of the green. Let's check it out. All right, I actually barely made the green here, and I hit that 5-iron pure, so the wind really caught it. You got 15-mile-an-hour winds here, up to 20-mile-an-hour gusts, so it's really rough today. 51-footer, it's downhill. It's going to break to the right a little bit. Let's check it out. Oh, I got the lift of par. All right, that is a par three on 16 on to 17. All right, the 17 is a par four dog leg left playing 402 from the tips. It just seems like that from the tips today on this course, I never played this course before, obviously, it's at around 6,500 yards. I think it's playing longer than that. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Oh, yeah. Sit down. Sit. All right. On the right side, it kicked, it kicked left into the fairway. Let's check it out. All right, he got a really good kick off that tee shot because the fairway slopes again from right to left downwards. And I didn't even know that there's water here. The 150 marker is right next to me over here. But uh, the water runs right from that bridge, if you can see it, all the way across the back. I had no idea. If I pull hooked it, it would have been in the water. Anyway, I have 154. I have a little bit of a helping wind. Nine iron. Here we go. Oh, I hit that sweet. That is on the money. Up on the green there somewhere. Let's check it out. All right, I hit another great shot with my iron. Um, I have a 10 foot of downhill, gonna break to the right a little bit. This is for birdie. Oh, yes. Woo! I thought it was gonna slide to the left. That is a birdie three. Back into negative numbers. On to 18 and final hole. All right, the 18th and final hole is a par five dog leg left. On the card, it states 497 from the tips, the black tees. That bunker comes out, comes into play on the left side. Oh yeah, straight away. Little kick, little kick left. That's good in the fairway. Let's check it out. Oh, I'm over here in the fairway. My tee shot went pretty far, and the fairway narrows down to only about maybe uh, 18, 20 yards. But we have the wind directly in our face, so I apologize for the wind noise. I'm going to hit a six iron straight down there for placement. That's all. Here we go. All right. That's not going to hurt us. All right, it's on the right side of the fairway. Let's check it out. All right, my third shot is 97 yards from the uh, flag. I'm playing a sand wedge. Um, I have a hurting wind. Sorry for the wind noise. Oh, I hit it good. A lot of spin on that ball. All right, it's just on the green. Let's check it out. All right, I have a 26 footer for birdie. It's uphill. It's going to break uh, to the left a little bit. Let's check it out. All right, that is a par five on the 18th hole, uh, the final hole. We'll give you our uh, summary in a few minutes. All right, nighttime golfers, uh, that wraps it up for uh, Beacon Woods Golf Club in Bayonet Point, Florida. Um, the course was in pretty good shape. Tee to green was pretty good. The greens were in good shape. There was a couple of areas uh, that were, uh, you know, from fungus, but most courses in Florida have that actually. And we're in October. But uh, to be honest with you, the course is in great shape and um, you're able to take a divot. The fairway is nice and, nice and pure. And uh, the greens are tendency to be a little bit smaller than average. Uh, as far as the speed of them, I'd say they were nine on the meter. 
Um, I shot a 35 one under par on the front and a level par 36 on the back for a 71. Never played the course before. But I, I played from the tips, which is around 6,500 yards, but I think it played a little bit longer. I don't know, I was just, either that or I was just tired, I don't know. But anyway, I had a great time here, and I would, I would uh, urge you to play this course. It's very reasonable. Tom, the head, the head uh, manager inside the pro shop, is a wonderful guy, and uh, he works everybody in, accommodates. The course wasn't that busy this afternoon, but uh, we moved right along. We played in about three hours and 15 minutes. That being said, I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel because it does help the YouTube algorithm and we'll see you on the next golf course.